up ready. Somewhat. You have found a dress, but when it comes to hats, there are still a few hiccups. Am I right? You do not want something that 20 other women will be wearing at the races. At the same time, you do not have the budget for a custom made hat. Not to worry. Auntie Samita, as always, has come to your rescue. Open your wardrobe. Go through your everyday hats, headbands and bandanas. What do you think? Can you dress up some of these and elevate them to the status of racewear? Now that's precisely what I have done. I have taken out my stash of ribbons. Ribbons that I have collected from gift hampers, floral bouquets, over the years and then my trims and notions leftovers from my various projects pieces of jewelry broken jewelry bits and pieces that I can repurpose Now some of the ribbons might be knotted. Remember these are repurposed ribbons and if you have crinkles like this straighten it with a steam iron. Some of my existing hats will work well for race wear. For instance this cloche hat. It has a nice ribbon, a nice bow in front and I'll dress up the bow with ribbon flowers silk flowers or even crochet flowers and I'll let you into a little secret I have appropriated aka stolen this Australian open hat from my partner's wardrobe this too can become a racewear hat If you are trying to create a beach meets races vibe, then this straw hat would go beautifully with your dopamine dresses. Brightly colored clothing with a straw hat. You can dress this up with a little bit of Australiana and even a little bit of gum leaves, you know, different kinds of Australian flora. A word of caution, weather can be treacherous at Flemington on cup day. So if you are planning to wear a straw hat, invest in a good quality one. That's not too flimsy and that's not fly away. I have got mine from Dunwell. It's made in Australia, sits well and is incredibly strong. You can even take a walk in the garden and substitute dry flowers with fresh flowers. It's spring and flowers are everywhere. Now you would say, Samita, I am somewhat lacking in the creativity department. Not a problem. Go to Michelle Catling. Michelle is a genius 
when it comes to making headwear out of fresh flowers. So be it cup day, oaks day, bridesmaids, bachelorette parties, girls day outs, Michelle is your go-to person for floral headwear. Don't have hats in your wardrobe? Look for some unused headbands and dress them up with trims, laces, beads, baubles, whatever you have. If you've decided you'll invest in a statement hat, good on you. Support the milliners. Millinery is an industry that's heavily invested in handcrafting and indie designers. For a custom-made hat, which will become a statement piece in your wardrobe and heirloom, approach Valentina Dobrich. You've probably missed the bus this year. A good hat takes two to three weeks to make. But hey, plan for next year. I will be at Fashion on the Fields at Flemington on Cup Day. Let the party begin. Time for breakfast. Learn with Sumita's subscription rate is faster than some of the fillies on the tracks. And if you are not subscribed yet, why not? We'll be reporting next week from Flemington, Melbourne, Australia. Till next time.